whatever they are accepting a deposit everything they cannot give for credit so they want to maintain a statutory liquidity ratio investment bank uh, the word only which is suggesting we are investing okay so the specialized project a special project we are investing infrastructure purpose development financial institutions are led by the chief executive finance okay ceo and managing director who is responsible for day to day operation Hello everyone, you are warm welcome to one and all. I am Natesh, lecturer in commerce, Vidya Shram First Grade College, Mysore, the Temple of Excellence. We are in the Unit Four, Session One, Financial Institution and Market. So BCom Fifth Semester. The chapter name is Banking and Development Financing Institution. And today my agenda, you are getting more clarity about the financial institutions. Very very important for any economic. So the first one, introductions to banking and the banking meaning and definition, the role of banking and the functions of banking. There are different types of bank and development financial institution. Moving forward one by one, the introduction of banking. Banking is a financial institution, okay, which is uh, the major functions of uh, banking accepting a deposit from the public, okay, or individual or businessman. Okay, so here the banking refers to the process of accepting deposit. Why? Because actually for individual they are opening account like a saving account. Uh, the businessman they are opening a current account. So whenever they are opening, so definitely they want to accept the deposit from the public. So providing credit facility. Credit facility. There are commercial bank uh, or development bank. Uh, so when they are giving a credit to, okay. So either which is uh, related to housing or education loan uh, or business related loan. Uh, okay. There are too many loan is provided by the bank. Okay. And uh, managing money. So definitely as a banking. So whatever they are accepting a deposit from the public. Now they have a two ratio which is related to CRR which is a cash reserve ratio. Uh, individual bank they want to maintain in the RBI and the statutory liquidity ratio. Why? Because the banking sectors okay whatever accepting a deposit. So everything they cannot go for depositing in the RBI. Okay. Sometimes they want to keep that's what a statutory liquidity. Why the individual bank they want to keep in the respect premises uh, because uh, any customer anytime they can come and withdraw so that's what they are maintaining okay so whatever they are accepting a deposit everything they cannot give for credit so they want to maintain a statutory liquidity ratio the banks are financial institution that play a crucial role in the economic because uh, now every country the major the economical contribution the finance okay the finance is very important so either neglected sections uh, once you identify okay everybody uh, start earning okay so uh, economical development the contribution for banking sectors the contribution for the total gdp it's very important so by channelizing saving into the productivity investment productivity investment for example the government want to promote the industry okay providing a financial support with the help of financial institutions or banking moving forward meaning of banking banking refers to the process of accepting deposit providing credit facility and managing a so it involves the transfer of fund from the saver to borrower the saver means actually who is opening an account they are called for saver okay. Okay, so now borrower means actually who is getting a loan from the banking institution for the different purpose. Okay, so and management of financial risk. Okay, whatever they are accepting a deposit, whenever they are giving a loan facility, they are charging. Okay, even the saver. Okay, after opening an account, they are also getting interest from the bank. So there are financial risk, which is systematic or unsystematic risk, which is connected to the financial instrument. Moving forward, there is one definition according to Banking Regulation Act because of uh, banking, there is one specific act uh, which is open year of 1949. Banking means accepting for the purpose of lending and investment, accepting deposit with the intentions to providing a loan facility for needy people and investment, the investment which is uh, related to the development uh, okay, or you are investing for other mutual fund or security market. 
and of a deposit of money from the public are repayable to, uh, on demand repayable of demand whenever uh, the customers they want to withdraw money from the bank so obviously there is an option so in the bank so otherwise and withdraw by the check uh, draft uh, order and uh, otherwise so there are different facilities are provided to the account holder so obviously they can use instead of cash they can use per check or demand draft uh, okay and other facility atm internet mobile banking so there are a lot of facilities are provided to them because we are talking related to modern banking so the role of banking the first role is actually financial intermediator bankers are acting like a agent so in between uh, the receiver what they are accepting okay intermediators means actually now whenever the tenant want to pay money for the owner so with the help of bank uh, we can easily transfer and custodian of money uh, whatever they are accepting a deposit uh, okay so which is custodian means that they are taking care of them okay and the next one the payment system facility there are payment system facility now which is completely modernized or technology because of technology every customers are using a internet banking or mobile banking okay so physically they don't want to walk for the banking premise okay so the payment system which is related to the government expenditure or infrastructure development or you want to transfer money for any other country okay so easily we can get next one credit creation bankers what they are accepting a deposit they start creating the credit like loan facility okay they are providing a loan to the needy people okay and the capital formation okay obviously the capital formation uh, it's very important for any company or private company or public company so they are raising a fund through the uh, small savers and the uh, uh, risk management the risk management uh, whatever they accepting a deposit uh, the bankers want to provide interest for the saver account okay so obviously there is a lot of risk is involved in the raising a fund next one currency issuation okay in sole bank like central bank rbi so they have a sole authority to issue the currency so whenever which is inflation or deflation basis they are try to go for printing the next one the promotion of saving so the bankers uh, everybody are having an account at least one account in the one particular bank so the small saver when there is a bank obviously the savers okay or uh, individual people they can open an account uh, whatever they have a disposable income they are uh, keeping in the bank like uh, uh, saving account or current account or fixed deposit or recurring deposit like this okay now their bankers are promoting how they are promoting because they are giving an assurance for the interest next one the functions of banking the functions the main function any banker accepting deposit so we are not talking related to non banking okay now only banking commercial bank uh, for the first function is accepting a deposit from the account holder okay to open an account whenever the customers are uh, depositing money so which is an accepting a uh, deposit next one providing loan and advance here whatever they are accepting a deposit so they are providing a loan different types of loan are available and advance okay uh, for example, example the current account holder they are uh, having a limit for extra limit that is actually od or draft okay so next one the electronic fund transfer easily we can transfer because of the uh, internet uh, electronic fund transfer neft uh, rtgs uh, these are the facility which is available internet uh, next one credit creation okay so definitely they are creating a credit here okay and uh, next one foreign exchange service whenever you are receiving any foreign currency easily we can with the help of bank we can convert into our currency and the investment banking so which is talking related to only for investing like a project investment or infrastructure investment clear and next one safe deposit locker okay because this kind of facility when the bankers are providing even the individual customers are getting a safety keeping the valuable things or documents related or jewels okay the bankers are providing a locker facility of course the bankers are charging for the locker facility issuing a letter of credit issuing a letter of if you are doing a transaction between uh, any other state or any other country okay both the seller and buyer very stranger for that activity so how you can believe so because the bank is giving a, a letter of credit
next one atm service are given uh, next one the financial advisory service okay as a individual people they don't know where to uh, open an account or where to invest you need uh, something like advice so the banking service are providing banking advisory service moving forward there are different types of bank here yeah, the first one commercial bank so the word only suggesting which is there uh, provide a wide range of financial service to the individual people or businessman and government entity okay so the commercial activity when you're opening either opening an account like saving account or current account uh, even the government also going for the payment like salary payment uh, through the bank only everything will go up okay and for example jp morgan case uh, bank of america hsbc second type is a retail bank which is a retail bank uh, uh, cater the individual customer the service in include saving and checking account mortgage personal loan credit card okay welfare g and city bank so this is your uh, retail bank next third corporate bank the corporate bank focus on providing a financial service same service are providing for all the banks here uh, to large businessman uh, corporation service including project financing trade financing treasury service example dachek bank and barclay so next one the investment bank uh, the word only which is suggesting we are investing okay so the specialized project uh, special project we are investing infrastructure purpose specialized uh, in capital market uh, activity like the uh, capital marketing when as a individual they want to go for investing uh, definitely they should have a demat account uh, investing in the stock market okay a uh, security market service include underwriting uh, merger and acquisition uh, security trading investment advisory okay uh, goldman this morgan stanley and next one central bank no doubt which is an rbi okay govern monetary policy and issue national currency uh, like example the rbi is a central bank for india and next one development bank which is developing like infrastructure project development agriculture development industrial development small scale development okay so focus on providing a financial assistance for the economic development the complete economic development uh, project support infrastructure agriculture and other sectors for developing country like world bank uh, asia development bank uh. next sixth one cooperative bank cooperative bank which is uh, related to agriculture cooperative bank uh, or uh, fertilizer cooperative bank uh, okay farmer there are different types of okay uh, own and operated by their members because of members which is a voluntary members are joined together they are raising a fund uh, the customer serve as the interest uh, of their uh, members and provide traditional banking service which is uh, national wide building society corporate bank which is a housing cooperative bank agriculture there are different types of cooperative banks we can find now islamic bank operate in the accordance with the islamic principle avoiding interest and speculative activity like qatar islamic bank bank islam malaysia barhad okay next moving to the eighth eighth bank community bank so locally the community which is based on the local uh, locally focused bank serving a specific geographical area specific geographical area only the community banks are opening like uh, prost bank city national bank now moving to the next uh, type of land and development bank so which is uh, land and development completely like uh, housing or uh, farmers land uh, and for a project which is related to infrastructure okay a land development bank is a financial institution that provide loan for the development of land and agriculture industry industry land next moving to 10th one exchange bank which is currency exchange in between the different country so an exchange bank is a financial institution that specializes in the foreign exchange and the international trade finance next concept is development of financial institution development we are finding a development like agriculture development mentor uh, industrial development uh, small scale industry development which is very very important for any nation okay so we are getting a agriculture product from the farmers so definitely we need to uh, support okay now origin uh, development financial institute uh, trace their root back to the mid 20th century which is from the 20th century so many were established in the post world war 2 era to support uh, reconstruction and development effort of a country okay so after the world war 
to there are huge heavy losses okay land losses agriculture related uh, everything so if you want to promote uh, definitely uh, you have to go for financing development in uh, 1950 and 1960 early development during this period, several uh, development financial institutions were created to address specific development needs, specific uh, uh, which is a neglected section, uh, weaker section if you want to promote, uh, agriculture product if you want to promote, uh, industry you want to promote. Uh, like this especially in the merging economy they played a crucial role uh, for funding a large infrastructure project so road uh, bridge uh, okay so there are too many projects are undertaken by the central government and state government so definitely multilateral institutions like world bank and regional development bank regional wise which is located uh, played in the significant role in promoting the uh, concept of uh, development financial institution uh, the International Finance Corporation is an example for multilateral uh, development financial institution, so which is very, very essential for any country. Now, next, uh, 1970 and 1980, growth and diversification. Okay, there we are finding a growth and diversification. So, development financial institution expanded behind infrastructure. Okay, not only they are focusing on uh, infrastructure. Uh, to include sectors like agriculture, education and uh, small and medium sized enterprise, okay. Uh, some country established their own nation uh, development financial institution during this period. There is a lot of growth we are finding in the different area. Next one, the structure of adjustment. Definitely any bank is working under this structure. Here yeah, the structure adjustment uh, in the 1980s, 90s, structured adjustment in the development economic uh, influenced the role and functions of development financial institution. The emphasis shifted towards economic liberalization and market oriented reform. Here the functions and role is uh, again the economic development uh, uh, taking care that complete structure uh, redesigned here. Uh, next, uh, under development financial institution, governance structure, uh, which is very, very important, governings, okay. So, development financial institution typically have a governance structure that uh, include a board of director responsible for strategic decision. There are different uh, decisions are involved, uh, planning is involved. So, you need to go for always approaching like a uh, strategic decisions. Uh, next one, leadership role. Uh, it is very important uh, uh, leadership role. You have to lead the bank here. So, development financial institutions are led by the chief executive finance, okay, CEO and managing director who is responsible for day-to-day -day operation, okay. So, there which is related to project undertaking or uh, development program, preparing a development program. Next one, funding mechanism. So, any development, uh, they are providing a financial assistance. So, definitely, which is also DFI rise fund through the various mechanism, including capital contribution from the member country, like uh, we have a tie-up with the US, uh, okay. And borrowing in the international finance market and partnering with the private sector entity because equally public contribution, uh, public limited, public sectors and private sectors are equally contributing for the nation. Next one, the risk management, uh, the access and manage finance and operation and project specific risk to ensure sustainability because taking a new new project or infrastructure project, uh, you have to go for managing the risk. Next one, collaboration with the stakeholders like your stakeholders, your management, employee, investor, supplier, everybody is coming in under the stakeholders. So, DFI often collaborate with the government, uh, private sector entity and non-government uh, organization, uh, we call it as NGO and achieve development goals, okay, to rise. Next one, monitoring and evaluation. Each and every year they want to monitor the progress and performance, uh, how there is a lot of development we are finding. DFI have a robust monitoring and educational mechanism to access the impact on their investment. Keep on watch for next section. Thank you.